What is going on everybody? It is your boy Nothing But Skills and today I'm bringing you guys another division video. Today's video is going to be focused on the top 14 talents that you guys should be using on your builds. Now a lot of you guys don't even mess with these talents and that might be the difference between you having a really good build and not having a really good build. So what I'm going to be doing is I'll be talking about all 14 talents I believe you should be running on some of your builds. Now I won't put them in order because I don't think there is a really order to rank these but I do think you guys should be using these talents in your builds now depending on the build that you run depends on the talent you want to run so we'll get into that in just a second so before we break down the talents I just want to say thank you guys again for all the support make sure if you're new to my channel it's the first time you're watching one of my videos hit that subscribe button turn the notification bell on so when I release a video you guys get notified hit that thumbs up if you enjoy this video and if you have any questions after watching this video use the comment section down below so let's get into the video we go to our talents these are the talents I'm talking about I'm not talking about your weapon talents I'm talking about your abilities now right where you have your skills you have what is called your talents and that is what I really want to focus this video on today because there are a lot of talents on here that a lot of you might not be using now if you're running solo you should be running different talents compared if you're running to a group so when I do you talk about the talents that I currently use I'll let you know that but I will be talking about the talents that I recommend you guys running on most of your builds now my talents change from when I run from PvP to PvE and then from each build themselves it really changes so the first talent I really want to talk to you guys about is probably the talent that you really didn't use prior to patch 1.8.2 and that talent is adrenaline now what does adrenaline do well med kits now give seven seconds of immunity from status effects so why a lot of people are currently using this is because now this works towards the six piece predators mark classified pred bleed so before you remember if somebody put a bleed on you you popped a med kit it would cleanse it for those seven seconds they could still reapply the bleed so as soon as you cleared your bleed they could reapply the bleed and it would just continue on and that was the reason a lot of times you did die but now with adrenaline make kits now give you seven seconds of immunity from status effects so that's not just a predator mark bleed say if someone's running a flame turret and you pop a med kit for seven seconds they cannot burn you again so that is what is pretty cool about this so not only does it work with flame turrets it also works with that six piece classified predators mark which used to have immunity to this and now it doesn't so this is one of the talents that if I had to redo all my builds I would most likely add adrenaline in because people still run predators mark and this really helps out with that that gives you that seven seconds to hopefully you can focus fire that predators mark drop him before he has a chance to come back and reapply that bleed the next talent I want to talk about is triage now this talent talent used to be used a lot more before 1.8 now the people who really use this are your healers your healers benefit a lot from this because a lot of times they are dropping their heals on the ground and then what that does is when you heal an ally with the skill it reduces skill cooldowns by 15% so who are the people who are usually dropping those heals on the ground for you consistently and those are your healers so that's why triage works really good with a lot of healer builds now if you're one of those players who loves dropping your booster shot on the ground almost every time you pop your booster shot then this might actually be good for you because every time your team runs over that heal you'll have a cooldown reduced of 15 percent which is really good i personally don't run this talent anymore because i find myself running a disruptor or I'll run a pulse so I'm not really getting the full benefit of having this if I was dropping my heels on the ground so that's why I personally don't run this and I think that this is more geared to those healers who love dropping those heels on the ground and then they'll get their skills back faster so they can keep spamming those heels for you and keep your team up the next talent I want to talk about is critical save use a make it during low health to increase damage resistance by 20% for 10 seconds now this works when you get into the last segment of your health you'll see it pop under your grenades that's where all the symbols pop up for all your talents. So when it is active, you'll see it at the bottom. It has a circle with a cross on it. That is just really when you use your med kit in that last segment of health, which is considered doing low health, it increases your damage resistance by 20% for 10 seconds. So that helps you. That helps you a lot, especially if you're getting focus fire. That might be the difference between you surviving a gun battle or getting melted. Now, a lot of times if there are four guys shooting you, the chance of you surviving unless you have a med kit and then your team pops med kits for you is really tough. But it does definitely help out i always run critical save the next time i'm gonna talk about is shrapnel now this is great for the guys who like running predators mark or if you want to run that six piece or if you just want to run a four piece predators mark this is great because applying bleed to any target triggers a 30 percent chance per each target in a 10 meter radius so whether it's npcs or it's agents if you put bleed on the main target any target within a 10 meter radius has a chance of getting that bleed put on them and there's a 30 percent chance of that happening and that happens a lot this is great if you run predators mark and pve 
you'll see that you could drop like four NPCs at once when you target that one NPC and that's pretty cool and that's why I think if you're gonna run some type of Predator's Mark you need to be running Shrapnel definitely a talent you have to run with Predator's Mark because you're not getting the full benefit of crowd control if you're not running Shrapnel on Predator's Mark for combat medic this is my number one talent you need to run it if you're in a team so if you're in a team and you're in PvP you need to be running this because use a make here in the allies to heal group members and proxies within 20 meters by 40% this saves people all the time guys this is what you guys should be running if you're in a team if you're not running this you're sacrificing your team and most likely your team will not stay alive if you have four people running this that's an additional 15 extra heals you're gonna get and then of course you have your five med kits because everybody has five med kits right so every time someone pops a med kit that that's 40% of that med kit you get as healing. Now that's like a free heal that everybody can get. So what you need to be doing if you're in a team, run combat medic guys. It will be the difference and you'll notice a big difference in your team play if you're running combat medic. Anytime I'm in a group, I always tell everybody, hey look, you need to sacrifice one for your talents and you need to put combat medic on if you don't have it on. Because I call it out a lot for a med kit. If I'm at low health and I don't have an immune box and I just use my med kit to help somebody else out and they're focus firing me, I'll say, hey look, I need a med kit. And and that 40% is a big difference of you staying alive and not staying alive. So this is one of the talents you must use in team play on the division. Hands down, use combat medic, guys. The next talent I personally really like running is strike back, reach low health to reduce active skill cooldowns by 20%. Now, this is another good one because a lot of times when you are fighting, you will go to low health and that's when strike back will kick in. And every time strike back kicks in, your active skill cooldowns are reduced by 20%. Imagine having that 20% cooldown if you're a healer and then you're also running triage of that 15%. Your skills can come back really quick, especially if you're running some type of skill haste and you have some type of high electronics. I personally like running strike back on my builds if I'm not in the team, just because a lot of times when I am fighting other players, I will reach that low health. And then I know if I do kill the player that I have a chance of getting my skills back that much faster. The next talent we're going to talk about is Demolition Expert. Kill a hostile with an explosion to increase explosion damage by 20% for 15 seconds. So for an example, if you're using a tactician build and you're using a sticky bomb and you kill that NPC with the sticky bomb, well, your explosion damage for 15 seconds will be increased by 20%. So if you use a sticky bomb right after that, within those 15 seconds, that means you're going to have an additional 20% damage. Now that's amazing, guys. Like when I run my tactician build, I love running Demolition Expert. And then I also pair it up with the other talent. I want to talk to you guys about is chain reaction since I am talking about demolition expert I might as well just throw chain reaction in there because when you damage multiple hostiles with an explosion to apply 20% more damage from the blast so if there's two or more NPCs near each other or two or more players you're gonna hit those players for 20% more damage so that can add up especially imagine if you get demolition expert you just killed somebody with a sticky bomb or you just killed somebody with a grenade and you have that additional 20% extra damage and then you also have chain reaction reaction because there's a group of players or group of NPCs you hit them with that sticky bomb they're gonna get that additional 20% more damage there too so that's a lot of damage coming out from your sticky bomb from chain reaction and demolition expert definitely some talents I would run on my tactician build the next talent I want to talk to you guys about is fear tactics now this one's pretty self-explanatory if you guys are applying shock to any target it triggers a 30% chance per each target within a 10 meter radius if you drop a shock turret and you shock any target any agent or any NPC within a 10 meter radius has a 30% chance to be shocked too so this is kind of like shrapnel for predators mark this is if you guys are running a shock turret when you drop the shock turret down fear tactics can kick in and that is something else if you guys like running shock turrets in your team this might be something you guys want to add the next talent I want to talk to you guys about is kill a hostile while any skill is deployed to extend active skill duration by 10% now this is great for you solo players I run this on all my solo builds this is a must for my solo builds especially if you're running some type of support station because as long as you keep killing hostiles that support station will never go away if you're doing pier 93 that's the main mission that I do solo and you're camped out and you have your immune box or you have your ammo box down and you're using that and you want to keep it up especially during those contamination rounds well as long as you're killing NPCs that box will never go away and you can almost keep that box up the whole time as long as you just keep killing those NPCs because every time you kill an NPC all your active skill durations are increased by 10% so they can stay up as long as you keep getting those kills so that's why this is a must for any solo players especially in Pier 93 when you're doing solo or any solo mission in general I love running tech support now for you Firecrest guys this tech 
talent right here is a talent for you wildfire if you're not using it put it on guys applying burn to any target triggers 30 percent chance for each target in the 10 meter radius just like shrapnels for predators mark just like fear tactics for the shock turret wildfire is for you firecrest or any person who likes running a hard hitting flame turret you should be running wildfire the reason why is applying burn to any target triggers that 30 percent chance for each target within the 10 meter radius so if you have 10 npcs within a 10 meter radius and you put burn on just one target well you have a 30 percent chance to put burn on the rest of the targets in that area and that's pretty good so i highly recommend you guys running wildfire on those fire crest builds on those high damage flame turret builds whatever you're running with your flame turret wildfire is on there even when i run a uh, average damage flame turret and i just want to have some type of crowd control i personally will run wildfire the next talent i want to talk to you guys about is steady hands so if you guys are having issues with controlling assault rifles especially like the lightweight m4 the lvoa which are probably the most used assault rifles in the game at the moment this is a great one for you if you can't control it put this talent on all you have to do is jump into cover and you can jump out of cover and then kill your players or kill the npcs and every time you do enter cover you're going to reduce your recoil by 25 percent for 10 seconds so to put that in comparison with the striker build you remember if you run a six piece striker that's 30 percent stability this is five percent less and you don't have to run a striker build to get that 30 percent you can run any build you want and you'll get 25 percent reduced recoil so all you have to do is jump into cover and when you jump out of cover you'll have reduced recoil by 25 percent for 10 seconds and 10 seconds is a long time guys you can drop a player in 10 seconds as long as you're putting out that damage if you're having issues with the lvoa lightweight m4 or, or any gun in general i would highly recommend you guys adding steady hands a lot of people don't know about this talent it's definitely a good talent for you guys who are having issues with your recoil the next time i'm going to talk about is on the move kill a hostile while moving to reduce incoming damage by 15 percent for 10 seconds this is another good talent if you want to keep reducing that incoming damage as long as you're getting kills so this is a great one for pve if you're killing those npcs say if you have a pve striker build and you're moving around a lot and you're just killing npcs left and right so you're always going to consider consistently have that incoming damage reduced by 15% for 10 seconds because you're getting kills and you're on the move. Now this may work for PvP a little bit. I used to run it a lot, but there's a lot better talents that I think I would rather have than this talent. But don't get me wrong, this is still a really good talent. You could run in PvE or PvP. My next go-to talent that I usually run on my build now is Precision, and this is Headshot a Hostile to post them for 10 seconds. Now a lot of people don't know this, when you do Headshot an NPC or you do Headshot an Agent and you have this talent active, you're going to get 12.5 critical hit chance and then 25 percent critical hit damage for 10 seconds now you add that on your build and if you're at a build that has 50 percent critical hit chance and then you headshot them and you have this talent active that's going to max you out at 60 percent critical hit chance and then not only that you're going to get additional 25 percent critical hit damage on top of whatever critical hit damage you have so you start adding all those numbers together and that's when you're going to start hitting really really hard so this is definitely one of my go-to talents if i don't have anyone on my team running a pulse i most likely likely will run precision i just think it's an amazing talent and one of my favorite ones to run probably a lot of people don't know about this talent because it doesn't tell you on there that you're going to gain 12.5 critical hit chance or 25 percent critical hit damage so this is pretty much all the talents that i currently use on my pve and pvp builds precision chain reaction on the move steady hands demolition expert fear tactics tech support wildfire strike back combat medic critical save, shrapnel, triage, and adrenaline. So those are the 14 talents that I think that are the most beneficial for you to succeed. Now there are a couple other talents that you could run on here, but that's all situational. And I just think that the talents that I went over are the main talents you should be running on your builds. If there is a talent that you think that I might've missed that you think might be beneficial to people, put it in the comment section down below. If you guys have questions on what talents you should use for what build, let me know in the comment section. I'll try to answer those for you. I just hope this helped you guys improve your builds. I know a lot of people don't even focus on these talents because they really don't even know what they do and for you new players this might have helped you guys out thank you guys again if you guys enjoyed this video hit the thumbs up if you're new to my channel it's the first time you're watching a video hit that subscribe button and as always guys if you don't see me in last stand if you don't see me in skirmish if you don't see me in the dark zone it is only a matter of time that the bus goes out